What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fizzy Fitness. This will be one of the biggest bodybuilding news that every fan wanted to hear for a long time. Year after year we wondered that what if Mikhail Crizo switches over to the IFBB Pro League and competes with the best of the best. Honestly, most of us just speculated that the Elite Pro League must be giving him so much benefits for staying there and that Crizo will never switch. Guess what? It finally happened. After years of dominating the Elite Pro League, Mikhail has switched over to the IFBB. That is a dream come true for the bodybuilding fans because Crizo, without a shadow of a doubt, is the best bodybuilder outside of the IFBB Pro League. Now, I think he will have to follow the same pattern, the same path that Good Vito has been following. Earn his pro card, which won't be a problem for an athlete of his caliber. Then enter a pro show and ultimately qualify for the Olympia. 2023 will be the year when we will most likely see him on Mr. Olympia stage. Got to give respect to Crizo for making this move. Just goes to show you when he was calling out guys like Nick Walker and Big Rami, it wasn't just trash talk. Not implying that Crizo will just smash some top athletes right away, but he is willing to face the challenge. Good Vito is a beast. As he gets closer to earning his pro card, more pictures are coming out of his camp, in which he is looking indestructible. He is very young and he is growing like a madman. He's weighing 264 pounds currently. Hopefully he competes in September and earns his pro card so that we can finally see him with the pros. We are excited to see a bigger and better version of Ian to step on stage this weekend. He is a top 7 guy in the world for the last 2 years for a reason. Despite not having the best shape, he is massive and crazy conditioned most of the times. The death face and crazy quads tells us the same story. Ian has suffered hard for this one and he is one of those guys who gets better as they compete more. Last year, he was good at Timber Pro but he was even better at Texas Pro. That is why he was able to knock out Steve Kuklo who also brought a great package there. Brent Chen has finally arrived in Canada. His return to the stage after three years will be the highlight of this show. Brent hasn't competed since 2019, his first and only Olympia, and we have been waiting ever since. His X frame is unbelievable, with some of the best quads in the entire division. He's holding a tons of water due to flight, but we still have 3 days to go, so that won't be a problem. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.